Coronary artery bypass surgery is all about improving blood flow to the heart, and Dr. Greg Silverman knows better than most about this. It's what I do for a living. It's your area. It's, that, that's that is what we do better for a living. Know. Yeah, that's what we do for a living. <laughs> that's what you're getting paid for. So, yep. okay, what are we looking at? Who who is who does who qualifies for this? Well, it, it is patients who have significant coronary artery disease. That is significant blockages, generally more than one in areas that can't be fixed by what we call PCI, which is intervention, that is a stent or a, or a uh, angioplasty. And, and generally in patients who have more than one, one artery that's blocked, we'll go ahead and do those bypass. So this Th is a blocked artery on the left? Correct, on the left you can see that there's, that there's uh, a fatty filled uh, walls of the artery and rather than do intervention, that is in, instead of doing angioplasty, uh, it depends on the, on the circumstance, but a bypass is done and it, where you put a different conduit around the area that is that is stenosed. In conduit, blocked. you mean a vein, a vein graft, and or that's an arterial from, graft from uh, the leg or wherever. Generally, from your leg. Uh, there's also generally one of the arteries that comes underneath your chest wall that's taken down and put generally in what's called the left anterior descending on the front part of your heart. You've been doing this a while. Are you seeing more genetics playing a role, or is it more the way we're treating ourselves? It's genetics, it, by, by and large. It's about 80% genetics. That is, if your parents have had coronary artery disease, there's a very high likelihood, and we, and I keep saying this, no your numbers, know your history, um, it's, there's a very high likelihood that you're going to have significant coronary artery disease and people are starting to come in and see me younger and younger because there are things that we can do early on to prevent the progression of the disease. Can you give me an idea what some of those things are? Yeah, it, it, it's, good steps it's really them? controlling your blood pressures, it's really controlling your cholesterol, it's understanding what di the role that diabetes plays in, it's understanding the role that exercise plays in and diet as well plays in the role of progression of disease. I know we're uh, living in an area where we see a lot of those problems mm -hmm. rearing their ugly head. Correct. A lot of studies done. Uh, how do we, hey, pay attention, listen up. How do we get people to, to do something? The best thing I can tell people is, look, you've got to understand that diabetes is a huge risk factor as well as smoking. But in this, especially in this area where diabetes plays such a big role and really in patients who have a dietary modification, you can reduce that diabetic load. You can reduce your sugar load. It's very important that people understand the role that diet has to play in diabetes. I know some people do not wait for a heart attack or mm -hmm. a problem in order to get this done. They right. preemptively go and... and well, it depends. It, it depends. Generally, um, what we're seeing or what, what we do is in those patients who come to see me or come to see their family doctor and there is some change in their in in what they're able to do I always ask from six months are you able to do now what you could do six months ago that is are you able to exercise the same are you able to walk across the block the same are you able to or are you more short of breath is there some sort of chest pain or chest discomfort that comes on when you exercise or when you're active that those are things that I look for to say wait a minute there's something there's a little bit of change this is suggestive that this is Artists, and then we'll go to the next step. The expert in the topic, Dr. Silverman, we appreciate you, sir, Thanks, uh, sharing your, your input and, and your expertise. Thank appreciate you. It. Okay.